Well, th- today is Saturday the 7th of January in the year of our Lord, 2023. Who do we, who do we have today in the, uh, the, the land of, uh, of studio? We and have, our, producer we have our queen and <laughs> her majesty Thor today. Good Hello, afternoon, me. everyone. <laughs> Did you say Her Majesty Thor? Are you cross-dressing Thor? Have you got any Calypius <laughs> Golden Dune? I'm just like... Yeah, no, I haven't bought Thor. into that narrative yet. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think the Griffins will do that gender transition uh, for you pretty quickly. If you yeah, like. yeah, well, that they tried, but they failed. <laughs> <laughs> you are the god of thunder. <laughs> the you know, when I actually did a little dig on Thor... You know, not is he just a god of thunder, but the sky in agriculture. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, well, they, they think about the changing in the ionization of the atmosphere. You know, I, Zeus may be lightning and electricity and power, but Thor is about, uh, he's about equilibrium. Wow. Yeah, the land, the sky, absolutely. Yeah, that's a... That's a that is a independent, codependent, and interdependent process, right? You know, much much like we are. And, and Clefia, uh, thank you for your presence here this evening. I appreciate you. Glad to be here. Okay, so this is I. Uh, I don't want to. I, I've I've taught on this for quite some time. Oh, hey, will you call? Uh, will you send Linda a link, please? Okay, I'm coming. Um. So. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get the we'll get the view from from Sassy here. Hey, Thor, pick up for a minute, please. All right. So um, we're going to be talking uh, about uh, intentions to manifest things. Um, you know, we we are God created beings, and we have the Holy Spirit in us. With the, the Scripture says, you know, our our tongues, our voice can give life and death to situations. Um, and so when you speak things and, and have faith behind it, things begin to manifest. And that's what we're doing. We're changing the manifestation from the cabal to a God world. Um, we're in a spiritual battle right now and it's good versus evil. And we know that God's going to be the victor. And, um, one thing that my wife and I, Queen Khalifa has been doing is praying for the manifestation. We've been doing this, you know, for gosh, over a year now. Um, and we're start we're starting to finally see it come to fruition. Um, what what thoughts do you have on that, Brandy? Oh, I'm sorry. I um I was following Gandalf's orders. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> yeah. Well, let <laughs> me just go. Gave you the, the little let, uh, heads up. Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, let me go to Queen Calipia. Um, What's your thoughts on that? How how do we manifest? What what type of beings are we? Human beings. <laughs> you say the above planet? grounders or the below grounders? <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Above. Yeah, let's keep an eye out for uh, Sassy. She's uh, she was just yelling at me, saying it's not the kind of she expected, which is what I expected you today. But hey, another day in paradise. <laughs> it takes a manifestation, right? That's what we're talking about here. That is so, that, so true. If you're, I woke if you're, up with one expectation and was thrown into another and rolled with it. No, mm-hmm. that's, that's all you can do, right? I mean, look, there, there, we can we can bitch and moan and kvetch, and that's what we've been trained to do. That's what the fear cycle's done to us. You know, we have been we've been under tyranny for so long, so long that it is really difficult to start to start considering a different path. That's what we're doing here. You know, we're uh, we're. We're trying to consider a different way to engage with your day-to-day existence here in 2023. You can talk about the age of Aquarius. You can talk about the declassification of information. You know, a lot of people are going to be waking up this year. And uh, that's our hope, right? That's our intention. That's why we're doing this. So I, that is why, true. We, why we're building tools. You know, my intention is that um, my intention is that we are building places where we can all come together and uh, and we can have a, a true a, a awakening with each other that, that people that are in the same 
state as far as <laughs> starting to consider whether or not, you know, you think 9-11 is an inside job, whether or not there's aliens, if the government is truly against us, if Big Pharma is trying to kill us, if depopulation is real. Uh, just having any of these discussions become better both than, right? You can group think. It's George Orwell. So we have to deprogram ourselves. That's what this show is all about. This is about, here's some tools. You guys know I'm a tool guy. I, 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 you know, if, I, if there's a nail, give me a hammer. I'll swing hard. Well, the, the definition of nail and hammer and within us has been changed. You know, all we do is hit ourselves. So I, we're driven by fear and tyranny. Talk about this ascension event that's coming along. Well, ascension isn't about seeing how fast you can vibrate like a cartoon character. Ascension is about matching the, the resonance of the earth. Right? This the Schumann resonance, this Torian coil we're living in the center of because we are electrical beings. If you don't think you're an electrical being, then challenge your heart to stop creating a spark because that's what happens every second. Talk about something you it's easy to get addicted to. Talk about a beating heart. So this, what we've got is is uh, some some words of what Brandy and I went over this this morning. You know, we've tried, we've had this conversation with many people. This an ability to come and really start being friends with yourself is tough. It's tough. So I'm I'm here to say with a powerful and intentional voice, along with the team that that usually agrees with me, <laughs> maybe uh, that look 2023 is for us. You know, you got to say 2023 is made just for me. Embrace this year of intention. You know, there's a model that says that only selfish decisions are truly good. Because if you don't save yourself first, how can you affect anybody else with positivity or negativity for that matter? So what, what, is, your, what is your intention as you head into a relationship? What is your intention as you go to work? What is your intention as you come home and spend time with your kids? Is that your intention? Is it your intention to go hide and work more at home? You know, we've been separated the last three years by six feet. That is a, that is the extent of your field, your your arms spread wide, your wingspan. So how do how do we how do we get from here to there? So that's what we're gonna talk about here. Uh, who who's done any journaling in their life before? Who's got a who's got a, a journaling story that's a I've done it. I've not done it. I mean, is this, this is an old tactic, and people often shy away from it. Uh, Queen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said Queen Khalifia has. Is her queen in court? <laughs> is she here? Sassy, Sassy, I know. I know when uh, when you first started journaling, you were still using stone and implement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder to get your words down, you know, when it's three strikes a letter. <laughs> well, it, well, it takes just a tad longer to get it written, but I can say something if I need to say it and get it down in in. Um, Quite a short time. Well, you know, and, and, it, and it tends to last long. <laughs> well, rock, rock, rocks I can pick up and throw at you that I chisel out. Yeah, that's, the pen is mightier than the sword, but the, the stone chisel <laughs> should be in the rock. <laughs> See, he hit me with the wrong rock tonight. Rock and roll, baby. Okay, so... <laughs> So t talk about talk about the power of of putting your your intentions down in letter and word. Is that I mean how do you how do you diminish that? Because we've gotten away with this. We can just tap it in your phone and you speak it. They're taking away our tool. Well, if they take away everything in which they did on a lot of things, you just learn to um, do other things for yourself. And go to books and start writing in journals um, or read you just, to find yourself out and not knowing what to do is very easily take a hike. And that doesn't mean I just told you to take a hike either. It uh, means that you can go out and walk around, learn nature. 
Oh, nature is such a beautiful thing that God has put out there. Well, you know, and, I you're reading in the, the, in the notes here. This is one of the things that you need to get done. So here, let me let me throw some words out here. It's it's that black. I read your notes. I can't help it if I read your mind. <laughs> well, yeah, we're we're a little bit ahead. Quantum entanglement. I like it. So, um, twenty three trees made for me. That's my my article I put together here. Okay. The use of desire. Um, and off. Yeah. Um, you sent Sassy a copy of these notes in an email. Remember? Oh yeah. Oh, did you? <laughs> Maybe. Well, honey, you don't let me know nothing. I can't. I can't do anything unless somebody lets me know. Because half time my phone don't ring. Well, this is on locals. About a thousand people got this email. So yeah, she was. She's on she's on local. So, uh, um, so what we're looking at here is our. Uh, we have the hope is the big key here. Hope and faith. This is where this ends up. And, and look, I, I, God that I serve will make himself known in such a way that, that you're going to know it's him. And that's his job. That's some marketing. He's implementation. <laughs> so I, I, the, our, our, it's a great spaghetti monster. Why do you start believing in yourself first? But I mean, you've got to be, believe in yourself and love yourself before you can believe in anybody else and trust anybody else. And when you start believing in yourself, then you can start taking notes and write down in journals and then write down what you want to be and what you want to learn to be and make yourself part prosperous through the next this new year and find a job or a talent that you can do and go for it that's exactly right and the go for it is the big part of this right that Absolutely. you've got to show up to be successful and and we have been trained to sit back and, and and go seek our programming device, which is our telephone, and go and go see what we're supposed to be. And if and we it, don't try it, and and then you you don't know you can do it. And if you well, try it and you fail, get up and try it again. But but, but here, here, here's, here's, the, but here's the thing, Sassy. The, the kids, the gays, the people that are in, of younger generation that have grown up with a phone in their hand their whole life. Their representation of themselves, their try it again, is to make a fraudulent them that they represent on Instagram and Facebook and all the other places that are the real them, right? The, the real them is the physical them. So that get out and take a walk, take a hike, take a friend, take a hike with a friend. Exactly. And, and leave your damn phone. Absolutely. Take a picnic. If you've never been on a picnic and, and walk in the woods to a Smile stream, you missing out because I tell you, that's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever feel in your and then you'll feel emotions when you feel emotions. That's when you get your adrenaline going and want to do other things. So, you're well, you are, and you also get your you also yeah. get your frequency up, absolutely. No, it's, it's the other, these are all through all these pieces work together harmoniously, right? So, you're the enemy's favorite tool is failed expectation. And the, the way to overcome failed expectations is to get up, do it again, set your own expectations. That's what the journaling is about. You know, when it goes out of your head, down your arm, through your hand, onto a piece of paper and back into your eye, that is a, that is a recursive loop. And then you start getting emotional about, about, oh man, that'd be cool. Yeah, man, that, that's, that is the, the engine of your intention. But the other part of this is observation in manifestation. So uh, the first step in really getting this done is, is that identification process. So this could be something like uh, you want to get, buy a new car. So you, you, I, you visualize that car. You print a picture of it. You put it up over, you know, on your bathroom window. So you look at it and say, man, you know, I've, I've had a lot of cars in my life. <laughs> and I... Uh, I've spent a lot of time on the road, and I'm a big guy. I'm specific about the vehicles that I like. I just think about a vehicle, and within a year or so, I just run across one. And uh, and there, it, everything works out until it doesn't. And then you move to the next one, and you know you can't get emotionally attached to that thing. That's your goal. That's your desire. Well, you reach that. You keep moving forward. This forward momentum, this observation of your manifest desire, and then the acquiescence of you saying, "Yep." That is exactly the coolest thing ever. My goal is that 
when I have a car, and I have a car right now, when I have a car, I walk out and go, holy shit, that's my car. <laughs> well, in essence, you're that's so faith. You're so excited every day. You're like, yes, it's my car. <laughs> but, it, but in essence, that's going to be faith. Right? Yeah. So do you, look at the, do you look in the mirror every morning and you're so excited to see yourself? You're like, damn. I'm like, <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm good looking. I'm strong. Yes. I'm all rested. I'm smart as <laughs> get out. I, I'm he me, does. I, yeah, well, I, I am all of these things. And I'm tall. So, you know, be tall is better. So how are you going to identify this? You could say, um, I want to live in the moment more. Okay, well, what's that look like? Are you creating a moment to live in? How do you quantify that? Things you do not measure, you cannot improve. People say, I'm living more in the moment than I used to. Okay, well, compared to what? Compared <laughs> to staying in a hotel room or a, a basement. A, a basement or whatever. <laughs> get out, live in the moment, go get you something to eat and walk around and communicate with people. And, uh, and uh, then you can then you may want to go somewhere. I don't want to go home tonight. I've done that many a times. Oh I've yeah, been, just go, go. That's living in the moment. That's being yeah. available, right? It's, so, so as you look at this, if you're setting those goals, this act of intentional act of journaling, you're visualizing as you're writing it. And then when, when, I, when, when you, you get there, are you happy with where you are and who you are? I mean, does this, this the real you line up with your intention? This is our second step here. This is an observational thing. Well, you know, when I got to, when I got to where I was going and didn't even expect to go there, I was thrilled and I said, "Lord, how did I get here?" And and usually He guides you there. And then well, when I, I get there, you have to pay attention to what your job is when you get there. Absolutely. <laughs> if you don't know what your job is, then you don't know what you're doing. But that's when you start learning. That's exactly right. And, the, and you start setting those expectations that God is going to do some incredible stuff in your life. And you say, Lord, why did you send me here? Look what I can do. And I didn't even know I could do this. And you sent me here. And now I'm up here building a building. Uh, something I've always wanted to do. And it's a fabulous well, but there's also action following the Holy Spirit. You know, if he tells you to do something, you know, just go ahead and do it. Just trust in the Lord and see what happens. Because, you know, there's been many of times where the Lord just told, you know, in the moment, you know, like go to Washington, D.C. and pray. And my wife and I would just leave and go. And he always took care of us. Um, so, you know, I think manifestation is part of, you know, listening and obeying the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Well, the, the action of your intention is actually doing something. You know, I, I, I talk to many people from a motivational standpoint, and they come to me and say, well, how do I get from here to there? I say, well, for, first thing we're going to do is go to Walgreens, get you a $4 notebook and a $2 pen, and those are going to stay together. And we're going to go took the first page, and you're going to write down your intentions. Describe the place you want to be in, in any number of days, hours, minutes, seconds, years, or decades. You know, because the, the journey is the process. You gotta get off your ass and move. You got to get up and do something. If you if you expect it all to come to you, you know, there's an old joke. It says, "I uh, there is this old woman and she lived out in the middle of nowhere." And um, and, and uh, everybody said, "Hey, there's a huge storm. Coming. We got to get you out of here." He says, "No, nope, God's gonna save me." Yeah. <laughs> then the flood. Then the flood comes and it's getting there and. You know, she's got to get up on her second story of her house or second floor, and a boat comes up to the window and says, hey, you know, you want to get out of here? You know, the lady says, no, nope, God's going to save me. And then, you know, the water keeps coming, and she has to get all the way up on the tippy top of the roof, and a helicopter comes in and says, hey, you want us to save you? She's like, no, God's going to save me. And then she gets struck by lightning and dies. She gets up to heaven, and she says, what did you do, Lord? She says, what I do? <laughs> I sent a boat. I sent a helicopter. So I just figured you want to come home. I, I I did everything I could to save you. You did not take the opportunity to do what was in front of you. Yeah. So, I, so how do you act as who you are? Right. This uh, people ask me if anybody knows me. They know that that every day is another day in paradise, and uh, and I'm fantastic on purpose. <laughs> 
Yeah. And half the time I'm talking myself into it, but I'm using my very powerful mouth to state the frequency of me. Damn, that's time it's wrong. <laughs> you know, if you talk well, about not in that one. You know the old glass half full? Well, I want to talk about the attributes of ice. Put some ice in there. It's going to look full. <laughs> Ice fixes everything. It cools you down. The, the heat of your emotion, the driving part of your intention engine is often uh, pushing you in a direction that might not be your best move, right? I mean, I, you know, I've, I've uh, you know, drunk logic is different than straight logic. And, uh, and when you're drunk in emotion, it's very easy to swerve off the road. <laughs> So your 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 journal is your is your map here. Go back to your journal. So I, when I, I journal every single day, multiple times a day, usually I'm writing down what's happened. I'm making small expectation lists, not decisions about how this is going to turn out. It's here's the expectation that I have that it's going to work over here. We have a, a lead programmer. His name is Justin. Yeah, he's been with me a very long time. He's an excellent human. I just love him to death. He's on Christmas break right now. He's got another three or four days left, and then we're going to keep pushing forward. But we were building uh, some of the tools that we've got up. And um, and Brandy says, uh, oh, well, if we had one of these, and, it, and it, that, that it just says, oh, you mean one of these? It sends us a link. It built it the day before. Just screw it around. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that was four revs ago. Now that's uh, Zombie Land. So, uh, so you know, and, it, and that's going to be a Discord type of, of platform and a replacement. Look, this intention of manifestation takes people, right? So you, right, you're checking your map. You're, you're, you're going to run into people along this path. God might have sent those people into your life. Uh, there might be low frequency people that are coming in and tell you that you're stupid and it'll never work. And, and you can't be a fill in the blank intention. You can't be at fill in the blank intentional place. Right? They, they, their low frequency is why those people are NPCs in my world, non player characters. You get zero points for interacting with them. So I, well, you're always going to have a naysayer. But now you know the you know the ones that truly will want to see you succeed, and the one that just says, "Oh no, you can't make it." If you can't, uh, this is you're you're going over your head with this. There's that is not the one you want to listen to. Well, and, and also, bad. also, if you're working for God, you know it, the the scriptures say that the natural man can't understand the things of the spirit. So you know. You're going to have those types of situations because I deal with it every day. Um, but you just rise up and you just trust the Holy Spirit, you know, be an ambassador for Christ and just keep on marching. That's exactly right. You got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. If you if you sit down, you know, as children where we, we are trained through the fear engine very early, uh, even though we're much more awake as kids than we are as adults. You know, we've we've get trained into this low frequency 3D universe. We stamp our feet and we yell and scream and we say, no, 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 I want that, I want that, I want that. Well, uh, my hypothesis here is that that's never changed. That the manifestation of addiction and dysfunctional relationships and, and uh, bad work environments and unhealthy uh, living engagements and, and all of the things that lead to a false self-representation Man, the social networks are just set up for this. They'll suck you up. You know, they'll take your information. They'll be you. They will make a you that you believe is you. Well, how about the the faith part of you, the spirit part of you? You know, this this corporal shell that we're in is is not us. That's what well, I'm saying. God, He put this in um, Gandalf's um, brain before he was born, and now He there's no stopping Him. He's a hundred years old and he's still at it. Look, man, no one can outrun the old man. That's right. <laughs> well, if, you know, if you want a little story about manifestation, uh, my wife and I both got saved at 33 and he's taken us on a, a journey that we never could have imagined. And, uh, you know, God spoke to me last year and everything that he spoke to me last year is manifesting this year. So um, there's definitely intent you know, when it goes behind faith and manifestation. Yeah, but you spoke it to, you spoke what he said and you used the power of your tongue to create and manifest. Now we're starting to actually see a harvest of the things that we spoke. 
I know that God told us. This show is a manifestation of my intention. <laughs> you know, I, Gandalf really hit the scene here about a hundred days ago. That I, you know, I've been working on this for more than a minute. Now everybody should be a Gandalf. That's that, that's my whole point with this. It's like the scene in the end of the, the movie, Viva Vendetta. Vendetta. Everyone takes off their robe and mask, and they stand up in their community, and they speak truth. And both truth is spoken in power of spirit and intentional conviction of, of, of seeing the manifestation, of visualizing that place, that person, that thing, that intersection of people. Quit that, telling that, me a thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are a pretty specific thing. <laughs> you are my friend, and that doesn't, that's not a long list of people sometimes. <laughs> I tend to, I tend to <laughs> roll that. So, the Ag Locals is one of the places we've done that. We're launching on YouTube here. I think we got four videos up. We're trying to watch our P's and Q's, but not too close. Um, so, look, our, our, our mission, my intention, is that we provide a place where people can come and get information they're, they're not going to get anywhere else and they can do it in a place of safety. You might get ridiculed a little bit. Someone might come and scuff your shoes on the first day of school. Uh, you know, that old initiation, I don't know if anybody does that anymore now that people shoot each other over shoes. I call them ticks, I think. Uh, anyway, my point is this. We have we coming together in a common intention has led to what is happening right now. So how can you do this in your life, in your community? How can you go into your workplace and set an intention that you're going to have a healthier workplace by just smiling and telling everyone, you know, Hey, has anybody told you that you're doing a great job today? <laughs> wow. How can I be the first person, man? I'm watching you walk your tail off over there. That, that's your very powerful mouth giving a positive vibration and frequency. I, I do this all the time. I also crush the over tip, but you know, that's another thing. So I, but look, how are you going to set your intention to manifestation in 2023? How are you going to do that? I say it starts with a journal. Well, in 2023, I'm going to go out and I'm going to say, this is going to be the day that's going to turn my life around and that I'm going to start a new venture. And I've already, a, a journal is something like an outline. You put down what you want to do and what, what order you want it to do. You want to do it. And once you get that outline and that journal, then you go from there and you go by each line and do what you need to do. And then after that, you'll, it'll come natural. You'll set that habit index, that, that habit. Success breeds success. Get up at the same time every morning. Do what you got to do. And don't say, well, I got five minutes. Just go on. If you got five minutes, hey, go get your extra cup of coffee and go out that door. But don't be late to work or anything. That's the worst thing you can do on anything is be late. Hint, hint. <laughs> well, all all we have to do fall. is be a spirit the of excellence. The, the wizard is never late because nothing starts till the wizard gets there. <laughs> Touche, sassy. Yeah, that's right. Yes, indeed. The queen knows what I'm talking about. Same kind of thing. <laughs> yep. You pretty much, uh, we, we're on your time, so. Well, look, I appreciate everybody's time here. I appreciate our listeners. You know, my, my intention is that we are able to come together in a community. We've been under tyranny for so long. It's not just, you know, uh, the Fauci Ouchi uh, or whatever. It's the, the you know, jibber jabber rumor. It's about the separation of us. Yeah. We've been isolated in our homes. Uh, we have been constrained in available resources. Uh, we have been squeezed until the buffalo screams on the nickel. Uh, you know, eggs have got doubled in price. They're usually a, a bellwether. Uh, our churches are shut down, but the marijuana dispensaries are open, right. along with the alcohol stores. You know, you can get a, go to a mosque, but you can't go to a Christian gathering place. At least in the past, you've had this issue. I, a lot of us loosening up. So as we come back together, why don't we treat each other some better habits and, uh, and, and, and try and be a better community so that the next time that we are opposed by tyranny, great, that we will stand and rise up and not cower in fear. Yeah. Well said, sir. Okay. Well, I got a, what are we in a half hour? Yep. 29, 40. 48. 
So, uh, anybody got any closing thoughts about your intentions for 2023? Only that it's going to be absolutely awesome on, on purpose. purpose. Woo! I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and that humanity will be free from tyranny. Yep. That is an excellent intention. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. Okay, say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Campbell. Good night, everyone. <laughs>